Hi my loves, welcome back to another Ask a Little Witch Pick a Card reading. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kerry and today we're going to do a Pick a Card reading in relation to a message of love. Okay, so you can take with that whatever it means for you um, and we're going to get into how to select your cards. So if you are not new here, then just pop open the information box just below this video and you'll see the timestamps and then you can just jump ahead to your reading. If you are new and want to follow along with me, then this is how I recommend you select your cards. So what we're going to do is just take a couple of deep breaths for a series of three counts in, three counts out. And we're going to do that with eyes shut. And then when you open your eyes, the first card that really draws to you is the card that's going to be meant for you. So while you're doing these breathing exercises, what you can do is say in in like in your mind, okay, that you want to pick the right the right selection that's for you, the message that you need to hear, okay? And you can do that with any pick a card reading. It doesn't just have to be mine. So what we're going to do is shut our eyes and we're going to breathe in. So we're going to breathe in for three counts. Hold for three counts and then breathe out for three counts. And then again, breathe in for three counts, hold for three counts and breathe out for three counts. Last time, breathe in for three counts, hold for three counts and then breathe out for three counts. So when you open your eyes, the first card that jumps out to you is the card that's meant for you. And then you can just drop open the information box just below this video and that's where you'll find your timestamps. And we can go into what your message of love is. Okay, so if you selected the pink flower or the first set of cards, then the message that I have for you, and just looking at this, it does feel very Virgo versus Pisces, like just looking at the cards. Um, I mean, there's definitely earth elements to this selection, okay? So I don't know if any of you are dealing with an earth sign, or you yourself might be an earth sign, um, because there... I mean, the main message here is about patience, okay? So when it comes to love, the message when it comes to love for you guys is about patience. It's about stop obsessing, okay? Don't obsess over the fine details. It's about you getting clear, yes, on what it is that you want from a relationship, sticking to your guns when it comes to, you know, what it is that you need to feel fulfilled um, within a partnership. It isn't about backing down from your wants or desires or accepting less than you know than, than you want it is very much about staying strong it is very much about it's, it's almost saying that you're manifesting your relationship the, like the relationship that you want it is cultivating it is kind of churning below the surface right it's kind of like the seed has like sprung forth you know and you can't see it yet because it hasn't kind of spurted out into you know out into the um the environment it's still growing there's things that are still kind of being put into place. And so the message here is is it feels very much like you need to just have patience, like you need to wait, you know. It's about you focusing on, you know, the things that bring you joy, the things that light you up, instead of worrying about what everyone else has and you wanting to have that too. It's almost like saying, you know what, the relationship that you want, you're going to have it. You just have to kind of persevere. You just have to keep on pushing keep on not even pushing like it's, it's it's not even about pushing it's I mean you have the well deserved reward which kind of feels like you're reaching the peak of something something is culminating right something's about to end and it's kind of like you're awaiting these results right with the awaiting the results card it's very much about um not focusing on everything that you don't have but focus on what it is that you're cultivating right now because ultimately what it is that you do now is the seeds for your future it's what it is that you're going to manifest it's what it is that you're going to achieve and attract in your life and i love the fact that we have the chameleon because i feel like with with this that there is a need to adapt okay and needing to adapt to a very different way of doing love a very different thing so let's say you're trying to manifest a new type of relationship you know you're tired of um you know 
you're tired of falling into like bad habits you're tired of attracting the same kind of a person and you might want someone who's different and so when you're looking for a different kind of love you know it, it requires you to do different things you can't do things in the same way now very much everything here is is saying that you need to stay within your own integrity it isn't about you not being who it is that you are it's not about tricking people you know to to fall in love with you it's saying that the, the, the relationship that you want the relationship that you're going to have is going to have real purpose and real substance but you almost have to kind of say no to a lot of things you know say no to a lot of people be a little bit more discerning with what it is that you're inviting into your environment what it is that you're inviting into your life you need to be able to say no to certain stuff you know I mean, the chameleon spirit says, act as if. So there is this manifesting quality, you know, it's almost like it's saying, act as if you already have that ideal lifestyle, that ideal career, that ideal relationship, okay? Act as if, and everything else will fall into place. Because with the chameleon, it kind of feels like you're in new territory. Like, that's what it feels, and you're having to adapt to your environment right that's what it kind of feels but it's saying that the changes that are happening the changes that are kind of happening around you it's that they're happening in a way that's for your benefit everything that's going on with regards to love is so that you can have your greatest love story yet right it's saying that there's things outside like in your environment the external is changing and you have to act accordingly you know, and it, it's true, you might be feeling a little bit impatient, like you've been working really hard at this relationship or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, and you're like, oh, is it ever going to happen? And of course it's going to happen, but you have to get your mind right, you have to be in that right that right space. And we have the card, joy is the ultimate creator. When you step into that, that vibe, right, of love, of passion, of joy, you know, and it doesn't matter if you have a relationship or you're in one or you're not, you can still cultivate more love and more joy. You can attract love to you by stepping into the vibration of love. So do things that make your spirit light up. Do things that bring you true joy and true passion, you know. And if you're like, well, I don't really know what I like to do, then think about the things that you used to do as a child. You know, what sort of a child were you? You know, did you like to colour in? Did you like to paint or did you like to make things you know and it's about tapping into that inner child you know when you light up with from within you change your frequency you know you're dialing into a new radio station therefore you're attracting new things new opportunities you know whatever is going on inside of you is very much a result of what's external what's around and so the love card says very soon it says clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now so this would be a great time for you to start a visualization journal when it comes to love if you haven't got the right kind of a relationship you know write a, write a journal write in it date it and write everything that you want with, with regards to love but write it in the present tense write it as if you have it already and it will change your i mean it just changes your whole mentality it changes your frequency you know spiritually speaking like your whole auric field will start to change and then everything else will kind of fall into place you know try and remember that love is a feeling it's not something that you can just grab it's not something that you can just go out and, and buy you know it's a feeling it has to be cultivated it's something that's mysterious and unknown you know and i feel like with this like and the reason why I'm saying like Pisces v Virgo is because you have these earth qualities of like working really hard, you know, really instilling a lot of energy and effort into what it is that you want, you know, but on the other end of things, we have like the chameleon and the joy and the creator and it's almost about manifesting, it's about tapping into that heart space, you know, it's about focusing on, on the joy, on the bliss and not on everything that's hard. Um, and I feel like with the little mouse um, card, it's very much about, you know, releasing doubts, releasing those negative thought patterns, those things that you say to yourself, you know, and if, if you want love, if you want to attract love into your life, you have to be the facilitator of that, you know, you have to be the person who 
you know, the way in which you treat yourself is the way in which others are going to treat you. So if you have, like, if you're talking down to yourself all the time or, you know, you're beating yourself up, it's just inviting more people and more relationships that will kind of, you know, facilitate that, will give you more of that. So really be mindful of the way in which you look at things. Um, and I feel like with the mouse on the positive side of things, it is about getting organized. You know, if you want this epic love, and you're a workaholic let's say you know you need to cultivate a little bit more free time for you to build and grow a relationship so this is what i get for you if you selected this option if you would like to check out my services all of the information is in the information box below and i will see you in another video soon bye so if you selected the second group um, or the blue flower then the message here is very much about getting in tune with your gut okay what does your inner spirit what does um your heart your feeling self what is it trying to tell you so the message for love for you is about tapping into what it is that you innately already know and with the moon card it can be a bit emotional there's lots of eight here there's a couple of fives fives always for me indicate some sort of hurdle or obstacle that needs to be faced or dealt with but we have the snake and the snake i associate with scorpio and then the eight with the success and growth card it does have this sense of you know breaking out of bad habits breaking free it's a sense of healing shedding your skin but the moon is very much um, it, it says that you already know what it is that you need to do and with the moon it's emotions emotions aren't easy you know you can't control how you feel but you have to honor how you feel there needs to be integrity with that you know you can't hide from your feelings if something feels not right trust in that instinct you know figure it out work it out come to some sort of resolution I feel like if you selected this option then there needs to be a little bit of healing happening in regards to the way in which you approach love you know this could be healing in regards to a relationship healing in regards to maybe family matters because you know everybody's association with love you know we learn it through our parents whether we want to admit that or not um you know our first experience of love comes through the people who gave gave life to us right and um parents i mean everyone's parents and even if you are a parent yourself you know you're gonna not do everything perfectly you know that's the idea of life um you know but i definitely feel like with this section there needs to be some deep healing some deep emotional healing an emotional heart to heart and i feel like once you've aired things out and you get out of the heaviness there needs to be a little bit more fun you know approaching love with playfulness because we have the card playfulness and the playfulness card says to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to run f to to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so i feel like with this card there needs to be you know you need to maybe approach love differently but first you know you can't ignore how you feel is what i'm saying like you have to do the deep work you can't just pretend that everything's all fine and dandy if you don't feel that way you know there's a lot about this about being honest you know stepping into your integrity acting authentically and we have here hope is the conduit of miracles so don't and you know if you've been in loads of bad relationships and you think that you know your love life is doomed um i promise you it's not because we do have the success and growth the snake spirit definitely does require some healing um but it's saying that you bend okay you bend you know you're not going to break you know there, there's a sense of um strength and wisdom that comes through you know your past everything that you've experienced you know the trigger points, you know the patterns, you know the cycles. So if you know all of those things, you can use that information and apply it wisely, you know, so that you don't make the same mistakes, that you don't choose the same sort of partners or, you know, friendships or whatever sort of love that you want to attract, you know, you can make that change. And I actually feel like with the success and growth card, that there is a change coming up, that you just have to keep your heart aligned with what it is that you want. You know truly what it is that you want stop 
you know, it's about stop accepting less than you deserve and have hope and have faith that everything is, you know, that great love that you want, it's going to be given to you. But it almost requires you to open up. It requires you to step out, okay? Because we have the reach out card. So I feel like for some of you, there, there's a relationship that's building and you need to not get stuck in heavy emotions. If you feel something and something's going on, speak about it openly and calmly in a safe manner so that, you know, your your doubts or your fears can be kind of, you know, wiped away, you know, cleared out. And I feel like, yes, with the snake spirit, there is a little bit of healing. There is a little bit of shedding. Um, but ultimately, it's about tapping into the lighter side of love, reminding yourself of, you know, the first stages of love, you know, what is it that attracted you to a certain person? And, you know, what lessons have you learned so far? And, you know, looking at things like that, but trying not to get caught in the past, and just trying to stay, stay present as you can, I feel like that's really going to help you. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have reach out. I mean, maybe for some of you, there's a past relationship that's just weighing on you over and over and over again. And maybe you need to just open out, clear the air. And clearing the air with that old relationship can be the gateway or the opening for a, a better, more enjoyable relationship to blossom from that. So this is what I get for you if you selected option number two. If you want to check out my services, check out the links down below. And I will see you in the next video. So see you soon. Bye. So if you selected option three or group three or the orangey yellow flower, then the message that we have here feels like you need to um, stretch yourself, right? Because the giraffe and its long neck, it's about standing up tall and strong and, you know, tapping into your confidence. It's about seeing things from a higher perspective, right? Because... Um, you know, when, when you see things from that sort of angle, when you look at something from like a bird's eye view almost, when you see things in, in its entirety, how everything is interconnected and how everything is evolving in your love life, um, it will just help you to kind of not get focused on the one tiny thing or one specific relationship. It's about broadening your broadening your view, right, with the giraffe spirit. And I feel like what, what I'm seeing, like what I feel with this section is that, you know, um, you're manifesting. Ultimately, we have the Magician or the Manifest card, which is a major arcana card, um, including in, in this tarot deck that we have here. It's saying that you're manifesting everything that's happening in your love life is as a result of something that you've willed into existence. And I feel like there's news here, there's messages here, but I feel like mainly when it comes to your love life, you're at a little bit of a point where there's going to be an important choice. So there's a message in regards for love is that there's choice. You have choice when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your relationships and your commitments, there's choices that need to be made. And I feel like with the giraffe spirit, I feel like the message here is about seeing the bigger picture you know thinking about you know the long term you know what is it that you're cultivating what is it that you want to have when it comes to relationship seeing things from another person's perspective looking at you know your partner's needs what is it that your partner needs right now how can you benefit or support that person and are they able to support you back you know it's about looking at your relationships your love life from a bigger picture you know, I definitely feel like here you have everything that you need to cultivate and have the romantic life, the love life that, that you want. Ultimately, I feel like there's a need to reach out. There's a need to communicate, right, with the, um, with the letters card here. There's a need to communicate. There's a need to connect, express, you know, and this isn't, you know, if you've if you're having trouble with your relationship and you selected this option, then I would say don't just take one person's gossip or one person's information as fact. It is really about getting to the truth of things, seeing things from a bigger picture, right? We also pulled the card of passion. So it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Um, so I feel like mainly with this selection that if you're single, there's definitely opportunities for you to cultivate a new relationship for sure. Something is definitely, you know, something is definitely being being seeded here. 
um, with this, but there's choices, you know, there's choices and there's options and you have to consider what's the best choice for you. And it's not even just all about you, you know, look at, look at it from like your potential lovers or your potential partner's eyes as well. You know, um, are you getting into a relationship where it is going to end up being one sided? You know, it's about seeing how you can serve them and how they can serve you. You know, it isn't about what can I get from this? It's about also what you can give as well. And um, we also have the card here, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So again, you know, this is about, I mean, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Yeah, it's about stepping out of, I guess, well, it's about getting out of like your mental mind in, in some ways. It's about getting out of your mental mind and focusing on, you know, the emotions, the feeling of things, you know, it's about observing, it's about seeing things from from a new light i mean giraffes are incredibly gentle like they're so cute and it is about stretching yourself it's about stepping out of maybe your comfort zone you know um and it's true like sometimes sometimes we end up attracting relationships that are not always so good for us but those relationships are serving a purpose you know we grow and we learn so much through our interactions with other people, through our relationships, through our love life. Like we learn so much through that. And so there's something to be gained from a relationship. There's some sort of message, some sort of growth um, that can come through a relationship. And I don't know, like, I feel like with this section, um, it, it feels like there's new love. Like it feels like there's, you know, manifesting an ideal partner and, you know, trying not to, Maybe like the ideal partner that you are attracting is someone that is not your usual type, you know, because I mean, the draft spirit is gentle and um, not everybody is attracted to the gentle type, you know, um, it's like a classic, you know, party girl who desperately needs like a nice guy, but she always goes for the bad boy, right? And there's an ideal partner here, something that you want, you know, you say that you want to be treated nice and you want to do this and you want to do that when it comes to your love life. But if you're going for the wrong people, then, you know, you're not really, you're kind of like your own worst enemy in some ways, you know? So I feel like there is something very, very good here. And I feel like that there is passion, unexpected passion that can come from this. I mean, you're manifesting the ideal kind of relationship. And I feel like with this, with this section, things can happen quite quickly. So it is about, you know, not getting carried away necessarily, but really looking at things from a broader perspective when it comes to your love life and when it comes to your relationships. So this is what I get for you. Um, if you selected this option, if you want to, you can check out my services. Um, they are in the information box just below this video. And I will see you in another video very soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, so if you selected the final option or the lilac flower, then the message I have for you is that when it comes to your love life, things are about to change, okay? Things are changing and sometimes change indicates an ending of sorts. I'm not saying that everybody who listens to this is going to have a breakup, um, but there is a sense of detachment, right? There is a sense of release, letting go, healing, being honest with yourself. You know, I feel like with the detached card and the sadness and isolation, there's a need to unburden yourself. There's a need to kind of really, really have a heart to heart conversation, you know, ultimately, like the number 11 card is about honesty. You know, it isn't necessarily about logic or rationality. It's about being honest with what it is that you want, what it is that you accept in your life. And when it comes to your love life, I feel like there's a message here about detaching yourself from the past, detaching yourself from all of the things, you know, that may have happened prior to this relationship or to this situation and finding a way to forgive and let go of that. You know, it's about stepping into the vibration of love. You know, I feel like whoever selected this option 
could be having, you know, a little bit of a crisis when it comes to love matters because we have the card, give your relationship a chance. And I feel like the main issue here with this is that there's too many people having a say in, in your love life. There's too many people gossiping or telling you what to do. And so I would even say just click off this video. Like you don't need me to tell you what to do. Um, but I feel like with this, there's gossip, there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of anxiousness, nervousness, fear, anxiety over a relationship. And I feel like there needs to be some sort of a detachment, you know, there needs to be some sort of honesty, some sort of truth that needs to be expressed. And I feel like a lot of the issue here is in relation to, to the past. I feel like when it comes to a relationship, it requires teamwork, you know, both partners need to want to be in the relationship both partners need to be mutually understanding of each other and what it is that you aim to achieve or to do you know because if there's no commonality between you both then you know how is a relationship gonna blossom you know if you're always fighting if you want to settle down and the other person wants to um you know not settle down who just wants to keep things casual you need to be very clear with what it is that you need within a relationship and you know don't write someone off because of a past experience you know this is about in some ways it can be about second chances but it is about making uh, a good agreement with something you know making a solid agreement and with what actually really matters i mean I'm really attracted to the little dove that's on there and doves are symbolic of peace and, you know, purity and staying true to, you know, what it is that you need. It's not about cutting yourself away or running away from a relationship when it gets too hard, you know. Everybody wants love. Everybody, well, mo yeah, everybody does want love. But nobody's really, especially this day and age, is really that willing to put in the energy and the effort to acquire that love. Love is not all just rainbows and unicorns and all of that stuff, okay? Um, it requires real work. You know, you have to be each other's strengths. You have to work as a team, you know? It isn't just what I can get from this other person, you know? That, that isn't love, you know? And I feel like with the scarab beetle here, there's a sense of karma. There's a sense of, like, karmic ties, karmic healing and you know, karmic lessons that need to be kind of assessed, because it's a number 52, I do feel like there's a sense of um, communication is going to be your key when it comes to your love life, communication is going to be the thing that's going to help you overcome these hurdles, but the scarab beetle also is saying that you're protected, that you're safe, you know, you're safe, like love is vulnerability, if you're building up loads of walls around you, you're not only protecting your heart, you know, protecting yourself from any potential hurt. You're also protecting yourself or pushing away uh, or bar like creating a barrier to any potential love. You know, you're creating the obstacle to what it is that you want. You know, when it comes to love, it is vulnerability. You need to be allowed, to, you know, you need to allow the love in. And sometimes that is, you know, taking a risk, taking a chance, you know. And so I definitely feel like with the detached card, it is about detaching from um, the past, any sort of ideas or fears that you have in regards to that, especially if you want to rekindle a relationship and there's been a lot of, you know, um, where your trust has been broken. If you want to really give this relationship a chance, it really does require you to leave the past where it belongs, you know, fresh slate and everything, um, you know, but that's up to you if that's something that you want to do. We also have the card here, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. You know, it's focusing on the good. Don't try, try not to get your, your head wrapped into the idea of everything that can go wrong within a relationship. Try and focus on the other side, you know, just a little bit more than you do with the other side, if that makes any sense, you know, because fear it's a disease, it's a disease, it, it doesn't really exist, it's not physically real, you know, fear lies in, lies in our thoughts and our concerns over what might happen, but you have full choice, you know, the choices that you make are the things that are going to lead to the outcome that you're fearing, so don't make the choices that are going to lead you to or towards the things that you, you're kind of fearing, you know, um, so looking at this option, I definitely feel like there's a need to talk, there's a need to express, you know, release, heal, forgive when it comes to your love life. 
and just be honest be honest with with the relationship and if you've been cultivating a relationship don't give up on that you know don't give up on things you know you know many of the older generations you know they they say that the the key to a good relationship is not quitting or running away when things get tough you know they fix what's broken they don't just end it um, so this is what I get for you if you selected this option. If you would like to check out my services, feel free. The link is down in the information box below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.